You're watching New Car Spin. I'm your host, Brian. I'm at Park Place Dealerships in Dallas. The Bentley dealer, to be specific. And we are going to check out the Bentley Continental GT. This isn't any GT. This is the W12? Yes. All right. Well, perhaps we can talk about it a little bit. Okay. So, so here you check it up front. 635 horse. Nice. It's a W12. So, um, two narrow angle V6s joined at the crank, each with a turbo. Okay. And then this is our sportiest Continental. So, it is all wheel drive, but it's a, a rearward bias. It okay. used to be 50 50. We've moved the engine back in the chassis a couple of inches, and then we have all this extra bracing that you'll see for strength and safety, but also steering feel. Okay. So, this is the brand new design. Brand new design, new for 2020. Okay. Um, it's been, uh, it's actually the same length. The silhouette of the car is very, very, very similar. But the wheels have been pushed out about five inches in total, so the front rear overhangs are much, much, much shorter than they were on the outgoing car. It gives it a leaner, meaner, more athletic uh, appearance. A longer wheelbase? Longer wheelbase. Okay. Um, it's not really any lower. It's not really any wider, but the grille and the way that the headlights and just the way that it's styled makes it look a lot more squat. These headlights look interesting. These are super interesting. So, with every Bentley generation, we like to have a, a design theme or a, a motif. Okay. So, if you feel even on, like, the inside of the door handles, there's a specific Bentley pattern and a Bentley feel. So, with this one, it is cut crystal. So, we went over to Waterford Crystal or the set of Mad Men, and we had our whiskey tumbler. And we were at the design studio, and this was still in clay, and we just smacked it in there. That's kind of the effect that we're going for. Nice. You'll see this in the headlights, you'll see it in the taillights, um, in the, even in the stitching on the seats. Um, and as we get in, we'll, we'll go over, you know, you can feel it on the, the shifter, and you can feel it on the uh, little organ pull knobs, and on the back of the paddle shifters, and on the back of the door. I mean, it's, it's we could blindfold you, and you feel like you're in a bed. Is that a bespoke option, or is that part of the car? Part of it. Part of, part of, part of Continental. Wow. Move over here to the side. Um, we, we do have fun names for everything. So I like to call this this sort of curl effect here the Cutlass. It's also available in gloss black. Okay. I think kind of handle and blade. And then when it's a W12, you get this really cool 3D 12 effect to just show you what's under the hood. Yeah, because um, there's also an 8-cylinder. There is an 8-cylinder. Okay. Yeah. Um, all of our body panels are hydro-formed aluminum. It's a smarter than I'm really capable to describe kind of combination of like vacuum sealing and pressing. Okay. And we get these really wonderful, crisp, clean edges, um, as well as just the shape that, again, starts back here, curves all the way around to the lower point of the grill, all, all one piece yeah. um, stamped, you know, pressed. Yeah. Nice. It's a proud line. Yeah. Yeah. Check inside. Thank you. So all the way on the on the there's a see the button that says screen. I'll pop it in front. Okay. So you ready for everybody's favorite party trick? Screen. No screen. Oh, very nice. Never gets old. So, a uh, big, big part of this car is arguably future-proofing. Okay. Um, even the most advanced nav systems today, in 20 years, are going to look outdated. It's technology, it's progress, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So, we like to think that every Bentley that rolls off, in theory, could one day be on the Pebble Beach lawn 50 years from now. And so, if you don't want to look at navigation, you don't have to. Nice. You can just enjoy your drive. I like the way these knobs feel too. They're very precise. Like they have a good detent in them. They're, yeah. they're and, chunky. And cut crystal. I mean, everywhere. Wow. Back here, up here, right here. 
Nice. And it's all going to be different and specific to each Bentley. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So is it is it like a different style package that makes uh, these specific, or do they just choose the artist that does them as like a one person per car? No, no, no. So um, it's it's uh, each car is going to have its own unique feel or diamond pattern. Okay. Um, it is optional. Um, and then on this particular car, we also have the Mulliner specification, which gives uh. us the extra quilting and some of the extra stitching. Um, Mulliner is really interesting kind of story. Um, it started out as saddle makers mm-hmm. in the, I want to say, 1580s. Okay. And when you used to buy a car from Bentley, Rolls Royce, whoever, you know, you got your engine, you got your chassis, you got some wheels, body's your job. Oh, yeah. Right? So you'd go to a coach builder. Okay. So eventually, I haven't seen any horse-drawn carriages in a while, so a lot of these companies have folded yeah. um, and been brought in-house. So Mulliner is our in-house coach building. And so we can do pretty easy, pretty minimal things like, you know, extra stitching or embroidering whatever you want here on the headrests to custom blending colors to okay. completely unique whatever you can dream up bodies nice and so the Mulliner package is is not a bespoke thing it's it's just an extra add-on yes okay yeah okay I love that steering wheel too god it's great yeah contrast this is kind of fun um so you would think for a big multinational corporation that that you know measuring out the distance between each of these stitches would be some sort of software algorithm or machine. Uh, it's a fork. A fork. Yep. Wow. Yep. When they when they when they're stitching this together by hand and they're at you know putting in the little divots to go. That's where I'm going to put this thread and that's where I'm going to put this thread. It's a it's a salad fork that just goes in and it just happens to be the exact right distance and it's the tool and it's it just works. You gotta have the right tool for that's the job. Right. I like how this material is matching the headliner. Oh, with the dimples? Yeah. Yeah. This is great. And it's still a 2 plus 2. It is still a 2 plus 2. Oh, oh, a big you, boot, oh. as we call it. Oh, let's check all that out. Yeah. Truck. Another box. Another box. No, never. You get a phone, okay. phone number and we'll come get you. Okay. Yeah. And, and then, again, more cut crystal. Okay. Can we happen to hear this exhaust? Oh, sure. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's guttural. That's awesome. <laughs> and we didn't uh, really go over these wheels. Are these 22s? 22s uh, part of the Muller driving specification. Okay. And uh, so these come in a couple different finishes. Uh, I just, I, I'm a big fan of the kind of mirror polish and then black paint. Mm-hmm. Um, you will see, uh, it's actually going away. But 19 was our 100th year in business. Okay. Right? Celebrating Bentley's centenary. So uh, this particular car has got the little gold trim. And that's just kind of denoting just a little celebration of our 100th birthday. Okay. And you'll see that on every beam in the car. Really? Yeah. So in the steering wheel, on the trunk, uh, on the nose, on the bonnet, if you will. And you're probably not going to be able to see it because of the light. No. Um, that's a gold B puddle lamp down there. Okay. That just, just isn't going to do the key to Remember. That's a good question, right? They do. They do the key too. <laughs> so, that's awesome. Right. And same texture. Knurling. Okay. And, and then the Bentega is a, is a different texture. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. You want to go have some fun? Let's have some fun. Yeah. Cool. Um, nice key. I like that. Cool.
Well, um, let's go in the car and have some fun. Yeah. Let's do that. I don't know. Are you going to fit in the back, Ryan, or are you going to uh, check oh, so out the back? So I can I'll fold myself in now. Oh, okay. And this has an air suspension as well? Absolutely. Okay. Let's put the key here in the cup holder. In the uh, in the 48 volt uh, suspension system <clears throat> in the from the ticket. Okay. So foot on the brake and then big start button. Wow, it rocks open. Yeah, it's good. Let me get my pre presented uh, seatbelt. Of course. I'm gonna flatline that out, even though we're not gonna Let's see. We got apps. Okay, let's get that window up. And let's see the air, auto. Heating Love. cooled everything. Massage. Nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Same as the Bentega, yep. push down the top. Yep. Okay. Yep. And um, then. And then up front, um, the, the, one of the advantages that this will have is your gauges are a, just a total screen. So there's a little button on the left side that says view. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome, too. Let's go ahead and show that. So you can have a little more traditional look or all map. You can probably, yep, you can zoom in and zoom out. It's a nice feature, too. I love that. And then, of course, if we didn't want to see the map or, or anything over here. Press uh, screen. Screen. Okay. I like all the buttons, though. This is just, no, that's, yeah, I'm a sucker for that. Okay, we are in drive. Our um, our route will have a toll road. It will. Excellent. What did we do? We went over to uh, turn right and go to the uh, yep. Inwood. Inwood. Okay. Yep. And then, let's see, we've got our home. So it's a nice big touch screen. Huge. Yeah. 12.3? Mm. Sounds right. We can enable and disable from the tiles. Okay. Oh, I see. That's cool. Yeah, it did, it did a little bit more than Bentega. There's a little bit of a learning curve because it just, I mean, it does so much. And it has the same seat controls from the Bentega too. So Correct. There's some options on here. Okay. Turn on my seat vent. To the right. Yep. And if you want to get to the highway a little quicker, you can go right on University instead of all the way down to Lovers. Okay. Yeah. So when I put this in into um, sport mode, it's going to stiffen up the 48 volt suspension. Correct. And lower the air. Okay. I think we're in Bentley right now. We're so. in Bentley, so ha happy medium. Okay. Comfort would be really cushy, mm -hmm. um, and then sport will open up the baffle in the exhaust and then uh, stiffen your spring rates. I think we'll try that on the toll road. Absolutely. Okay. I, w I, w I would I would leave it in in cushy comfy. For, for these roads though. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a challenging road. So the, this V, this W12, not V12, the W12 Correct. is 630 horsepower? Yeah, so they're going to say, oh, it's like 635 PS. Okay. Right, metric horsepower, and then we've always got to do the weird little conversion. So I usually just say 630, and that's, that's better, you know, it's 627 or something weird. And, okay. A Mockingbird mechanic one more. Oh no, it was Mockingbird. That's alright, we can just go down the levers, it's fine. Okay. I don't even know where I am right now. <laughs> this thing just transforms everybody into... We're just in a rocket look, looking to have yeah. a fun ride. <laughs> I only had the one cup of coffee. 
Right. <laughs> so we have blind spot. Yep. Assist, and then um, I'm assuming on this end. So full, uh, okay. you know, if if equipped with uh, touring spec mm -hmm. uh, and city spec, we have uh, full level two, you know, autonomy. And the radar crews and everything. Radar crews, everything, um, yeah. and available night vision. Night vision too. Correct. I haven't seen that in a long time. That's really cool. Yeah. Is it like an infrared style? Exactly. Okay. Yep. I mean, I don't really drive them outside of Dallas proper much, so I usually just look who's got the hottest muffler uh, in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because when you're on the highway, if you had infrared, you can spot the yeah. highway, highway patrol sitting on the side. Yeah, heat, heat signature and deers. And de yeah. yeah, yeah. Animals. They're everywhere. Okay, university thing cuts over or just lovers? Uh, just lovers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, some of these things I see in the road, I hear, but I'm not even feeling it. Mm -hmm. In in the standard mode, in Bentley mode. Okay. So is it is it a combination or is it literally like a middle setting for the, set, the suspension? Ooh, that's a state secret. <clears throat> um, yeah, it, it's Bentley's version of like kind of the best happy medium. So it's probably some combination of like the comfort suspension with a little bit of the sport throttle response. Okay. Because uh, like full on comfort is cushy. But then if you want to build a custom one, you can go in and say, I would like, you know, less steering effort, more steering effort, softer, firmer suspension, louder, quiet exhaust, and just pick out exactly exactly what you choose. And the type of person who wants a Bentley like this is um, looking for, a, this is like a, definitely it's daily capable, but are they looking for replacing another car or just... They want to have one because oh, it's goodness. so special. Yeah, I mean, we've this car specifically, we kind of get all types. Okay. Um, we apps, you know, maybe not a great family car. Um, you know, go with the Bentayga for that. But if if you don't need to to carry more than four people, mm -hmm. and you want something comfortable and fast, and you want something sporty that doesn't beat you up. Or you want something luxurious that doesn't look like your grandfather's car? Yeah. Yeah. All, all of the above. Um, sports car for grown-ups, if you, if you want. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So we'll get on the toll road and put it in sport? Yeah, you can even... Yeah, you can pop it in sport now. You can do it at any time while you're moving. Doesn't You know, doesn't matter. Okay. Ryan, if you want to show that. Let's turn this into sport. So it just freewheels. It, it, if when you're at sport, it stays at sport. It won't go all the way around Correct. to custom. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, good. We'll take this. Yeah, you got a nice run. Is it like here. a dual clutch or a it is? CFA? Okay. Yeah. Wow, my eyes went into the back of my head on that one. <laughs> And the exhaust changes when you put it in sport? It does. And the steering and all that, all of that stuff is still uh, adjustable through the center screen, like if you went to car? 100%. Okay. Right, if you want to show that. That's cool. So we can raise the suspension if we wanted to. Oh, it has coasting option? For yes. It? Okay, so if I press that in sport mode, does it work? No. Not in dynamic. Okay. So let me just try Bentley mode. Okay, so that's active now. Correct. Okay, so without attack, if I go to view, yeah, you'll see we are. Can you see the tack there? Yep. Great. Nice. We'll, we'll do some tack attack. There we go. And now, if I was to use the paddles at any time, it just goes into manual mode? Correct. Okay. Yep, and then if you don't play with it for 30 seconds or so, it goes back to sport. Defaults. Um, okay. And then if you click the shifter back one, it will go into manual mode, and then it'll stay in manual. Okay, but right now it's uh, it's going to be in sport mode. It won't return to drive if I tried when I'm in when I'm in sport correct. Mode. Okay, yeah. So sport is sport 100. percent Yeah. Okay. And then downshift. Okay, I can see my gear indicator there. Now, can you change this theme, or is this the Bentley theme that you 
that you have. That's that is the Bentley theme, but then depending on um, if you use those uh, kind of shoulder left and right by your left thumb. Okay. You can change what you're sort of looking at from a screen perspective. The, the tabs up top. Exactly. Okay, so I wanted to see like the computer speed or whatever. Oh, the computer. Okay. Yeah. Not interested. That's better. <laughs> Stick with that. Change the view. Okay. So now, hopefully that car will get out of the way. Yeah, again, it's just, it's like the Bentayga in the way where you hear the exhaust yeah. and you feel the thrust, but there's there's no action, like, from up front where that engine, that engine's sending all the power to the rear uh, as far as all the noise. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's still all-wheel drive. I like, I like to call it a, a muscle car in the other room. In the other room. Let's go back into auto. I guess it does that on its own. Now the Bentayga had the crackling exhaust. Do you think this could do it, or is oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I guess we'll just have to test it. Test it out. There it is. Wow. It just orders it right up all the time. <laughs> yeah. So the SUV has the conventional automatic. Uh, then this is the the seven speed double clutch. And then the turbo itself, or the bi-turbo, is it electrified yet? I mean, no. No, it's a standard uh, two twin turbo Correct. settings. Okay. Uh, cylinder deactivation. <coughs> Not that gas oh. mileages are our number one concern right now. No. No. Not a concern. Wow, I just love all the switch gear. This has a more natural feeling to me than the Bentayga at the slow speed. Yeah. It seems like, was there four-wheel steering on that one, or is it not not available on these cars? Not on Bentayga. Uh, this actually does. It does? I've, yeah. Okay. Sensing. Sensing stuff. Is there, do you have the sticker in here? No. No. Glow box, maybe? Oh, yeah, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, you brought your nine foot legs here. We'll, we'll check it later. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right. <clears throat> Let's do some M hunting. has a couple miles on it so that I know the tires are kind of worn in. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. I, I hear the turbos too. Just the, the, you can hear air sucking in. It's great. Like a Dyson sound. <laughs> ability to quickly consume miles. Oh yeah, it's just god level up. <clears throat> the Volvo Go is merging. It's kind of a mess right now. But yeah, I mean, like, right blink and we'd be in Austin. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Park Place sells the Bentleys. Yes. But also in the same dealership there, you've got the McLarens and the... Rolls-Royce. Rolls-Royce. Maserati. Maserati, okay. Uh, and Koenigsegg. Koenigsegg, okay. So, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have an in-stock at the moment. <coughs> Dang. I know. Yeah. But, uh, no, we're, we're very excited for uh, Gamera. And, so... Uh, yes, go high speed. Go ahead. How does the how does that work for the coding sake? I mean, like how much deposit you have to put down before they order and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's it's 
three payments. Uh, it's 10%, 40%, and then 50% plus taxes, fees. Okay. So I think he said on one of the videos it's about 1.7. Yeah. To start. Yeah. <laughs> to start, yeah. With the, it'll, most of them will probably be two and a quarter once, once it's all said and done. Oh, you do get... Okay. So are the, all the seat controls available on the screen, or is it just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, okay, so under... So, so right for, like, for, for quick and easy, you just turn it off, turn it on. There's the buttons. Um, and then when you press it, it'll bring up kind of a little seat menu, and you can adjust whether you want it more on your bottom or more on your back. Or uh, we can even set automatic. Nice. I think we'll go back into... I want to try comfort real quick. Yeah. So, again, it, it, is it raising the suspension? I know it's a little different from the Bentayga from that aspect. No. So we're not we're not going to adjust the height itself much. Um, it's 90% of everything is all going to be in those dampers. Damping. Okay. Yeah. Give you access to a little bit more travel. Um, but, I mean, the suspensions are basically digital now, so you can program them to do just about whatever you want. And I, there was a raise function in here too. Oops, there is. Sorry, I just went right You're by. Great. I was trying to move over. Um, how the raise is that like programmable? Like on some of the some of the vehicles these days? Like, Negative. Okay, it's yeah. not GPS coordinated. No. Okay. I guess we're going here. Go ahead. Just follow him in. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, you got plenty of McLarens here. And then, uh, Rolls Royce. So if I if I wanted one of these um, Continental GTs, sure. What is like the typical process for uh, the order? Like I have to order one, and then we have a we 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 try to maintain, you know two or three ish uh you know here ready to go okay in in some some fun color combinations um but yeah if you wanted whatever you want we set up an appointment we go to our little configuration and inspiration lab okay. um maybe you've got a sports team or a sport or hobby uh anything that you kind of want to call to right this is your opportunity to tell your story okay and Sit down, walk through every inch of leather and stitching. Trigger then forward. Perfect. Yeah. Um, this one's a little different from the Bentayga, I can tell. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, th the more we do to it, the little bit longer it takes, but five, six months roughly. Okay. That's not yeah. bad at all. No, not at all. Especially if you get something like this Mulliner spec. I mean, this is incredible. And all this customization. Great. Well, let's, uh, oh, you got it. Oh, it's moving up on you. <laughs> let's turn this off. I'll get you the key here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. This thing's awesome. Nice. Well, there you go, the 2020 Bentega and the 2020 Continental GT. Thanks for watching.